Hi, you guys. Um, today I'm back in the kitchen. This is Diva's Dishes Cooking Show. So today what we're doing, we're doing cheeseburgers. Yes, 100% beef, ground beef. We're doing homemade cheeseburgers. As you can see, um, I have three patties that I already made. And I have my cheese melted on it. But I have more to go. So I just did some off camera so I won't have to fry all of them on camera in front of you guys. And okay, um, basically, this is my ground meat I got in my bowl. The um, only thing I put in was Tony Saturn, black pepper, and um, onion powder, and a little, um, what you call it? I'm sorry, you guys. And a little um, parsley and oregano. Yeah, and that's the only thing I put in it. I didn't put an egg in it or anything like that. I didn't put any onion in it. And um, I also diced just one jalapeno pepper up in it. It's, if you can see the peppers. They kind of find it nice the green. That's the only thing I put in. Yeah. So basically, I'm going to start back patting some more of these and cooking in front of you guys. Okay, my hands are clean. I wash my hands again before I push play on my camper <laughs> while I started recording. So basically, I'm going to pat it, um, some of these burgers out for you guys on camera. We're going to start frying them. So I know sometimes if your ground meat is real, real cold, as soon as you get it out the freezer, but it's, it's not frozen, but it's cold, um, what you can do is, is put a little oil on your hand. Do like put a little oil on your hand, like not even a whole cap, like a half a cap of oil on your hand and rub it on your hands. Then get your ground meat and roll it out like that. It'll keep it from sticking. You know, some people put egg, but if you don't want to use egg, you can do it like that. That's another option. So we're going to patty these out, how wide you want them, how fat you want them. I don't like real thick burgers, so I kind of flatten mine out as much as possible. Not real thin, but not real thick either. So this is how I have mine patted out. And I'm going to lay it in my pan. And we're going to do three to this pan. Three can fit in this pan. So like I said, you roll it out um, how much you want. My ball about this big. You take just a little off. Once you use the uh, pad in the valve and you did a couple of them, you'll get the feel on how thick the meat should be. If it feel like it's too much meat, just pour it a little, take a little off. So I'm just patting it out, you guys. And this it is going in the pan. Doing one more. Like I said, if you have a bigger pan, maybe uh, more can fit in. But in this pan right here I have, it's only uh, three can fit in. And I'm also doing um, french fries. They're not homemade french fries. I cut up or anything used. I like my french fries like that. But today I'm trying to hurry up because my kids, they outside uh, old play, having a play date at their friend's house. And I'm trying to hurry up and um, hit this dump for them so I did not peel my potatoes like I usually do. But I do, um, I'll show you the bag of potatoes that I buy for my kids when I go to the grocery store. So I have that in there. And let me move this to the side and wash my hands. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, you guys, I wash my hands, my hands clean. So, like I said, our uh, ground beef patties, our hamburger patties are frying. Three in a pan. And this is a non-stick pan, I love this pan. I have two of them like this, or oh, I love using them. So, you probably see these pans in every video, I just love them. They non-stick and they do a good job. Okay, I'm gonna show you the um, cream fries that I have. I have a crinkle fries that I get from Walmart. Just regular uh, crinkle uh, french fries potatoes that I get from Walmart. Like I said, I didn't peel any from scratch. I'm trying to do a rush job today for feed my kids. So we gonna, the grease is already on and I already fried some before I started filming. And here they are. So as you can see, I got more to go. So my grease is hot in this black uh, pan, so I'm gonna start putting my um, fries in. Woo! 
do is hot. Let me fix my computer screen. Hold on. Tell some come my way. Let's see some y'all. This computer has a. Tell them that's okay. This computer has a mind of his own. Yeah. Tell them that's okay. That's okay. I'm learning it. So I'm putting the rest of the fries in here that can fit in the pan. There's going to be one more handful. You don't want to overcrowd your pan with french fries because if you overcrowd, it's not going to fry right. You want your uh, french fries to be able to have some breathing room so it can fry right. So don't over fry. I mean, don't overfill it, or it won't fry right. It may take longer to fry, longer than it should have to fry. And you can tell that uh, you can't hear the uh, sizzling sound anymore because these french fries just came out the freeze. They've been in the freeze for like about what three or four days. They never been open, and so they was real cold. That's why you don't hear the grease really uh, frying hard anymore. So I had turned it on medium, in between medium and high. I'm gonna turn it on like an inch, like two inches from high. They get them to start cooking to how I want to cook them. Because by them being so cold, they cool my temperature down on my um, cooking grease. Okay, let's uh, check on the burgers. Get my spatula. Like I said, I only put uh, Tony saturated black pepper, uh, parsley, and uh, oregano in it. And um, one um, jalapeno, green jalapeno peppers, I uh, cleaned the seeds out and I diced them up real fine. And that's all I put in here. I didn't put, sometimes I put an egg in a stick, make my hamburger patty stick. But sometimes I don't, I didn't want to put an egg in it. So it's just almost, it's like 100% beef. I don't, I don't have nothing holding the stick together as far as with an egg or uh, breadcrumbs. Sometimes I do that, most time I do that when I make a meatloaf. I really don't do it when I make a cheeseburger. Most time I do it when I make a meatloaf. I'll put an egg and I'll put bread or crackers in it to make it stick and hold. So they're still frying on this side. They're not uh, quite done. But as you can see, this looks so good. And also I have my um, lettuce and tomatoes and onion chopped up. Whoever wants that on their burger, they, they're welcome to put it on there. Because uh, some of my, my, like my oldest daughter, she don't eat tomatoes, so I just chop it up for the ones who want it, and um, you're welcome to, to put it on there. And I'm just going to sprinkle some salt and pepper on the tomatoes, and I'm going to put these in the refrigerator until I finish all the meat. And also, cheese is an option. Whoever wants cheese on it, but all my kids like cheese, so I have uh, craft singles that I'm using. I'm just going to put the salt and pepper on these right here and put this right here in the refrigerator so my uh, vegetables can stay cold. I like my tomatoes to be cold on the cheeseburger. I don't know why. The vegetables just taste better when they're cold. So I have my salt and pepper on the tomatoes. I'm going to run these in my back refrigerator, you guys. I have more room back there. I'll do, um, I'm going to make a strawberry milkshake to go with this for my kids, for my family, my husband and my kids. So basically, we have our cheeseburger, we have our fries, and oh, I fried up some bacon off camera. So we're going to have bacon cheeseburgers. I fried up some thick cut bacon. I kind of, I sliced it in half, that's why they decide to slice it in half. So I fried up some bacon, we're going to have bacon cheeseburgers. And we got our hamburger buns. So let me start on this milkshake for you guys to show y'all how I do that. I'm doing a strawberry. Last time I did a uh, frosted lemonade, it was so good. It tastes just like Chick-fil-A. Y'all ought to try it. Easy, easy ingredients. Not hard to do at all. It looks like my blade had a uh, bent or it's supposed to be like this. I think it's supposed to be like this. I don't know. Because I had put ice in here when I did the frosted lemonade, so let me see how it works when I turn it on. Let me rinse it out and get it. So 
So I'm ready to pop my blender container out. Let me make sure I got that on right. And like I said, this is food gel. I purchased this right here from Dollar Tree. This is food gel. I wanted to try it. I've never tried this right here inside a milkshake, but like I said, I freestyle cook and I try different things. Hold on, you guys. I'm turning my light so light. I used the men head that on, I must forget. Sorry, you guys. You can see me better now. Okay. This is called fruit gel. Like I said, I bought this from Dollar Tree. I never tried it. I never put any kind of fruit gel or anything inside my uh, milkshake or frosty that I homemade. And um, basically, this right here has water in it, of course. Um, it has corn syrup, peaches, pineapple, jelly, sugar, pear. Cedric acid. Yeah, and they have red color flavor coming, you know, and salt and all that right there. But basic, um, I'm really trying to read to you what kind of fruit they have in it. So they have peaches, pineapple, pears, that's good. And they got sugar in it, like I said. So we're going to try this right here out in the milkshake and see how it tastes. Let me open this. Fries still cooking. They're not fried brown, but they're cooking real good now. And the temperature went back up how I wanted it. So let's just check on these um, hamburger patties. Yeah, they could be flipped over. I'm flipping them over, you guys. I, have, I already have this on how these hamburger patties sound like I do. I have it on medium. So I'm turning down just a notch, a little more, just a notch. I don't want to cook them too quick because you want to make sure your ground beef is cooked all the way. You don't want to eat raw ground beef. So let me get my ice cream, you guys. Ooh, this ice cream is froze hard. This freezer, this freezer right here freeze way harder than that freezer back there. But I don't have no room to put it in back there. It freezes hard too, but this one right here freeze like it has this stuff like a brick. You can put a drink in there and come back in about 10 minutes and froze. Oh my God. This is froze so hard I better can't open it. But I got it. I should have took this out and let it on You know what you guys? I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to scoop it out. This is real, real hard. I'm gonna try to scoop it out and get this started. What I'm gonna do is my favorite cup. This chick coffee. I love this cup. Yeah. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is I rinse out my ice cream scooper. What I'm gonna do is I put some hot water inside this cup right here. This will help me scoop this ice cream out because it's real, real hard. So you just kind of just like dip and scoop in the hot water. And you kind of like scoop. See, it's so hard. I'm getting it though. So just bear with me. This is um, strawberry squirrel. I purchased from Walmart. So good, y'all. I was going to get the vanilla and just buy uh, strawberries, the frozen strawberries, put in there. I was like, now I'm going to get the strawberry squirrel. Let's see how it tastes in a uh, milkshake. Ice cream milkshake. I need that. I need one of them big ice cream scoops. And the one that got the little handle on it that you click it out. I like them better. But when I was going to the store, I was going to Family Dollar. I think I didn't see any like that, so I just purchased this one. I opt out with this one, but I most definitely purchase this one the next time I go to Walmart. Burgers looking good, fries looking good, y'all. Just make sure you keep an eye on it if you're doing like multiple things like I'm doing. <laughs> Some good extra fat for your arm. This ice cream froze so hard. Oh my 
my god. This has look, you guys. The vanilla squirrel. You see my meat is small that I'm cooking? So we're gonna pause for a minute. I'm gonna open my cheese up. When you uh, hear your meat small down cooking, that means your uh, meat is almost ready. They go for chicken or anything. If the frying is going down, that means chicken is almost done or it is done. So I'm going to flip them over one more time before I put the cheese on. And don't overcook it around me. Try not to overcook it. So I'm just going to put my cheese on it. Okay. You want your cheese to kind of melt before you take it out. If my ground meat is, my burgers are ready. I just want the cheese to melt a little bit before I take it out. I'm checking my fries, you guys. Not quite done. They still need to brown some more. Okay. Okay, okay. This right here has browned enough. I mean, I'm sorry. Think about my fries. This right here has melted enough on it. So let me take these burgers out. It looks so good. See you guys. I know all my burgers not even, but that's okay. It's okay. I'm going to uh, discard this pan. I'm going to give me another pan of frying. When I get ready to fry it again, it'll be off camber. I just fry it. I want to fry some in front of you guys, but I have me a clean pan that I'm going to use. So uh, I'm just waiting on my fries. Let me do this milkshake for you guys to show y'all how to do my milkshake. A little more ice cream here. How was you guys 4th of July? Y'all had a nice 4th um, of July? We had fun. We popped fireworks and, you know, we barbecued and stuff. We had we had fun. And also, uh, for your milkshake, you need milk. So let me grab my milk. Ooh, it's hot in here. Every time I come in this kitchen, I swear bullet shaft. I sweat bullets. You hear me? Okay. So I'm just gonna add about. I'm gonna use a measuring cup for y'all. I rinsed out my measuring cup. I used the add but I'm just gonna use a measuring cup for you guys in case y'all really wanna try this. You don't wanna put too much milk, but if you do put too much milk, just add more ice cream. I'm gonna do. One cup of milk first. I should have did a half a cup. But I'm going to do one cup. If I got too much in there, I will add more ice cream. And I'm going to add my jelly. This fruit gel. See, it look like jello. See how it's shaking like jello? See? That's all it is, probably jello. But it didn't say jello. <laughs> it said fruit gel, I guess, compared to jello. So I'm going to add two spoons of that in there. It got, remember I told y'all to have peaches and what else I tell y'all to have in here? Pineapples, peaches, pineapples, what a, here go on top of here. So you probably like this. You got peaches, pineapple, and pears. Okay. So we're going to go in with the blender. We've got to turn this on, so put it on blend. You don't want to blend it too much because you want to kind of milk it like a milkshake. See, we need to add more ice cream, you guys. Add more ice cream. Mm. 
You know what? I'm wasting my time doing this right here. I'm about to get a big spoon. That little ice cream scoop, I'll be scooping all night. I will be scooping all night for y'all. You're going to go in like this. This ice cream is so hard. Don't be laughing at me, y'all. Hold on, let me check on these fries. Oh, Lord Jesus. Okay. They're almost done. I think I can get a little more ice cream out. By this time, they'll be fully done. Okay. Oh, well, with all my might with this ice cream. Whew. It's trying to melt, though. It's so hot in here. Okay. I think this some look. Now, you guys, like I said, let me get this out the way. Let's blame. Don't over it. You want it loose and you want like chunks of ice cream in Because it's a milkshake, right? Out, you guys. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm trying to do a whole lot at one time for you guys. I got this stuff. My fries ready. I'm taking them out, you guys. And we got to get this party started. Let me turn this off. Started it. Let me hear him get it started in y'all. Okay. Do me a favor while I'm doing this. Come okay. put this ice cream up for me. So I can start this right for them. And show them what I'm really trying to do. Put this ice cream and milk up for me. And put the gel it up for me right now. For right now, I mean. I didn't mean to say right now. I mean to say for right now. Yeah, but right now I got you know I gotta make some more. But put it up right now so I can kind of clean my mess up and show them how this look, how this came out. You can put this gel it up and the cheese up for now. Everything I put over there, put that up. Okay, guys, let me just kind of wipe things down a little bit. What is that? The top. Oh. Things down a little bit. Huh? I made one for right now. That's for you. I gotta make the key. I was just showing them how to make it. Give me the cool look up first, right? Give me the um, mayonnaise and mustard and your beer radish that you want on your burger. Okay, you guys. And we got this right here going on. If it's my computer screen. Hey, Lucy, um, Go sit down. He won't talk to you. Oh, he don't give me the uh, wood print. I'm cooking. Stop being mean. <laughs> I'm not being mean. Stop being mean. I'm not being mean. Where, where is that? On the door. Right there on the door. Oh my gosh, y'all. It, it is super hot. I don't know why I be sweating so much. Hey, it's sour cream. No, it's not wood cream in the, the bottle right there on the door. Oh my God. Let me wash my hands, y'all. 
You want to taste it? Okay, I got my whipped cream, y'all. I got my whipped cream. It's about to go down. What's wrong with my whipped cream? What's wrong with it? I don't know. Go get the other one. I don't know what's wrong with my whipped cream. Malfunction. Whipped cream ain't working. The whipped cream don't work so Go outside. Okay, we're gonna see how this one's gonna work. There we go. I know y'all were laughing at first, man. <laughs> Look pretty, don't y'all? Yep, strawberry milkshake, homemade. Mom, mom, you didn't do a good job with your milkshake. Oh my god. Taste. This is the bomb. I'm telling y'all, taste it, baby. One more glucose, baby. Taste it. This is my cup. I forgot your glucose. You can use mine for right now. Just put that one in the freezer. I make you one of your cup. We got the same cup. He just got to have his blue cup. Mama, <laughs> I told y'all he played too much. Go outside and play with your little friends. They waiting on you. Taste good. I know. It tastes good. Tell them on camera. Don't tell me. Ah! See how good it tastes. Let me see this cup. We want this have it. Don't want mine. Don't want to me. I'm hot. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, it is so freaking good. It looked like I was struggling, but trust me, it's good though. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do everything. You forgot to put the ice cream up. Okay. So he like mayonnaise on his. Oh yeah. Wine. Come on, ice cream right there. I'm messing with you, boy. You can't see? Oh, you want to over here? Yeah, they got more room over here in this freezer. Let me get the spoon. My little mayonnaise, y'all. My little mustard on this side, just spread it. Give me a cheeseburger. It might, uh, well, he like beer reddish. I eat sweet reddish on mine. But I won't be making mine on camera because I have more burgers to make and more fries to make for my kids. And I have to make more of these milkshakes, so I won't be eating mine on camera. I'm just making his plate to show y'all how the out camera came. Okay. Babe, give me that medicine tomato refrigerator. Yeah. And I'm going to go in with these fries. And the only thing I do with my fries, like I take my degrees, I usually do it. I try to hair up some as I take it out the grease. I just do a little salt on it. Well, it's still hot because it's stick better, but they still hot though. But I was trying to hair up and do like two or three things at one time. But that's how I do them. As soon as I take my fries out the grease, I put salt on it because it's stick better. But you can put whatever kind of seasoning that, that you want on it. Sometimes I do tony satchel. It just depends on how I feel. Right. You can put it right there. Okay, I have my fries, you guys. Like I said, I have more. Huh? All right. Like I said, I got more fries to cook. But I'm showing you how it's plated up. So I can end this video. Y'all won't have to watch me cook all these french fries and all these burgers. It don't make sense. <laughs> You're going to get bored and you ain't going to want to watch. Okay. I'm putting his fries on the plates. Sit this back over here. I'm going in with my bacon. Yeah. My bacon. Oh my God, y'all. It is so hot. So we going to the hair store, get stuff in my hair. I ain't did nothing. Okay, I'm gonna do the lettuce and tomatoes first. Let me come around. If I got so much stuff on this counter, go there. So much stuff on this counter, it don't make no sense. So, like I told y'all, I have my lettuce. Ooh, my lettuce, I just kind of broke up in nice little, almost like the same size of the burger. You know what I'm saying? So, I got my lettuce. I'm just gonna put one piece on there. Tomato. I have some little tomatoes and I have some big tomatoes chopped up. I like my tomatoes little and I have onion. But I put a big one on here so he likes tomatoes. And I have onion on here. So I put two rings of onions. So I'm going to sit this back over this way, you guys. And also, huh? You want two? Well, you don't have to wait for a minute. And also, um,. My pickles, I'm trying to open for you guys. 
cheeseburger in so long. I swear I haven't made one in so long. I'm going to go in with, I guess, three pieces of bacon on here. I'm going to put a little more mayonnaise on the top bone. I have a must on the top bone. Oh my God, I want him to get the big hamburger bone. He got some small hamburger bones, but it's okay. So basically, this is how it looks. Let me get the hold on, hold on, one more thing, y'all. One more thing, one more thing, one more thing. One more thing. Oop, is it open? And you open. I'm sorry, y'all. Look like I'm trying to rush. I am trying to rush. I really have something else very, very, very important that I must do tonight. And I need to get on it right now. And I am so sorry. I look like I'm rushing. But at the end of the day, I still say I'm doing this video for my uh, people that uh, watch me on Facebook and YouTube. Because I said I was going to do this. So, I'm doing this video. Even though I had to do something really important. But I'm going to make it. And basically, this is it. This is how it looks. Yes, bacon, cheeseburger, and french fries. Yep. In which a strawberry milkshake and it is so doggone good. And he finna drink this milkshake. Tell me he want his blue cup like this is the same cup. Mine's just clear. He finna drink this milkshake. Cause I'm finna finish cooking my kids stuff and then I'm finna go handle some business. <laughs> but this is how I look. I hope y'all like this guys. Just a regular old bacon cheeseburger. But I want to show y'all how I make mine. And um, french fries. Sometimes I make them scratch. Sometimes I don't. But I always, most of the time, I've been starting um, to do my milkshakes at home. And it tastes so good. It tastes just like the one like at Wendy's or Burger King, anything like that. You know, I still go to all those places to purchase one. But I most definitely have fun making them at home for my kids. And this is it, the finished look. I hope y'all like it. And please subscribe to my channel and share it, please. YouTube and Facebook, thank you all. And thank all my Facebook uh, YouTubers for uh, supporting me. And I am Miss Roxy Roxy. Check her out. Yep, her page is wonderful, awesome. Y'all will love her uh, YouTube page. Yes, and thank you YouTubers for supporting me. And uh, make sure you uh, just uh, subscribe and share. Thank you so much, y'all. Have a blessed night. Bye.